Okay, everyone. So now we are learning the class. We know that there are so many inbuilt data types. Just like we are having the integer, float, double, character, string. Now these are the inbuilt. But if you want to create our own data type, that is possible with the help of the class. So we can say that class is the user defined data type. The idea behind creating the class was that whenever we are going to declare some variable, just like if we are providing some variables like integer a, float b, then that should be declared inside the class. We know that in the .NET we declare the variable. Let us suppose that I am declaring a variable int a in the C. Similarly, in the .NET we are going to write that is dim a as integer. So this is how we can declare the variable inside the dot net so all the variable declaration should be inside the class that was the idea now whenever we are going to declare the variable inside the class that is called the data members or the attributes so all the variables we are declaring inside the class is called the attribute or the data member so class contain first thing which is the data member or the attribute now class also contain the member function now we know that so many times to make some program, we need some functions or the procedure. Let us suppose that we are going to declare a procedure here. Maybe suppose this Ankit is a procedure. Now how to find the procedure? Whenever we are having the brackets afterward, that is a procedure. And before that we are having the void. Now void is the part of C programming. So here in the .NET we use the sub. Now this sub is ending with the end sub. So this is how we are going to define any procedure or the function. Inside we can have some code. So this is the procedure we have defined. This is called the member function or the behavior. So if you are declaring any of the function or the procedure inside the class that is called the member function or the behavior. So we can create a definition from here. We can say that Class is the combination of attribute or we can say that data member and behavior or we can say that member function. So we can write here, it consists of attribute or data member and behavior which is member function. So in the simple way we can understand that class is simply the user defined data type. If you want to create your own data type, just like we are having the integer float character, which are the system defined. If you want to create your own data type, then we are having the class. So class is the user defined data type. Class is going to contain the all the declarations, just like if you are going to declare any of the variable, just like dim a as integer. Now all those things are present inside the class and they are called the data member or the attribute. And class also contain all the functions or the procedures. Just like we are having sub Ankit or maybe we are having function Ankit as integer. So all the procedure and functions we can declare inside the class and they are called the member function or the behavior. So we can give the definition of the class as class is the combination of attributes and behavior. Or we can say class is the combination of data member and the member function. So class is going to contain all the declarations of the functions as well as the variables. Now we are talking about the members of class. We have already confirmed that there are two members. One is the data member or called attribute. And second one we are having is the member function or the behavior. So these two are the confirmed members. So we can say that the member of class means what should be inside the class. The first thing is the data members. We know that data member is also called the attribute. So the first thing inside the class is the data member. Now what are the other things? The other things are properties, methods and the events. So if you talk about the properties, whenever you are going to define any property of any control, just like the textbox is having various properties. So that is called the properties. Now methods, we know that all the functions and the procedures, they are called the methods. Events, we know that there are so many events which are triggered just like on the button click, mouse move, 
then form loop now for that functions are called that is called the event so property method and event they are nothing but they are the part of member function so we can say that there are majorly two things which are the part of class the first thing we are having is a data member or the attribute now the second one we are having is the member function or the behavior in the member function or the behavior we can say that it is having the properties method and the events so these are the things which are the part of class or we can say that these are the members of the class which can be present inside the class now how we can access this class there are so many restrictions on the class we can provide so these are called the access specifier of the class there are multiple ways in which we can access the class or where we can provide the restriction on the class so these are called the access specifier we are having the first which is the public if you want that your class should be access to all the people means anybody can access the class then you can make the class public the second one is the private if you want that your class is only accessible inside the code where it is created that is called the private the third one is protected let us suppose you have created two classes now one class is inheriting the other class so only where it is available means one class is inheriting the other class so other class members are taken by the first class that is called the protected so only derived class is taking the access to the class this is called protected now the next one is the friend we know that friend means if we talk about the general language let us suppose anybody is my friend he can come at my home he can access my things so similarly we can provide any member function of the class as friend to somebody so whosoever is the friend they can access the member of the class so that is the friend next one is the protected friend here with the friend we are putting the restriction of protected we know that protected means anybody who is deriving and friend means who is the friend of the class let us suppose that any member function of the class is having the friend now that means we can share with some of the other class so here we can provide the protected feature means class who is deriving the class and who is having the friend so both things should be there that is called protected and the friend let us suppose that there is a class a and class b two classes are there class b is going to inherit the class a means class a features will be coming on the class b and there is some specific member function who is having the friend property so now this is called the protected friend so we are having the derived class property as well as the friend property so those both are clubbed together is called the protected friend so these are the access specifier based upon our requirement we put them with the class and we make that class available to other people as per our requirement so that is called the access specifier that means who can access is it private protected or the public or friend or the protected friend so these are the access specifier so if we talk about the class class is first thing is the user defined data type means here we are going to define the own type by the user just like integer float character we can define our own type now class contain attribute attribute is called the data member we know that whenever we are going to define any variable just like int a float b and here in the dot end we write dim a as integer dim b as float or the double now this is called the attribute or data member so the members of the class first thing is data member now second thing it consists of behavior and the member function both are the same names so whenever you are declaring any of the procedure or the function that is called the member function or the behavior now properties methods and events these all are the part of member function properties if you are going to define certain property method if you are going to declare any procedure or the function event event can be any procedure or the function which is attached with some of the 
event just like we are having button press or maybe we are having the mouse move or maybe we are having the form load so any event which is triggered and with that we are attaching some of the function or the procedure that is called the event so all these three these three are the part of member function so the members of the classes is data members or the attribute and second thing is member function of the behavior which further contain property methods and the event on the class we can provide various access specifier means restriction on the class that can be public public means everybody is accessing private only the code where the class is available that is accessing protected means derived class is accessing friend so whosoever is the friend of the class that is having the access to the member function protected friend it is the combination of two protected means the derived class friend so whosoever is the friend of that class who is having the access to the member function so combination of both so this is all about the class